Hi, I'm Michael Ordonio with the Los Angeles Times at our San Diego <laughs> Comic-Con photo and video studio. Here we have the cast of What Just Happened with Fred Savage, which I prefer to say is, What Just Happened with Fred Savage? <laughs> it's, a, it's a parody of the after shows like Talking Dead and all that stuff. Uh, we have the cast here, Sherry Appleby, Tyler Ritter, Kevin Zegers, and Mr. Fred Savage himself. Thank you for coming in. Thank you very much for having us. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Fred, yes. you're the star EP, all that stuff. You're all over it. Uh, where did the idea come from? Um, the idea uh, came from um, wanting to do uh, a talk show. And uh, there's just a lot of talk shows out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we wanted to try and do something that was a little, a different entry point, you know, a different way into a talk show. Mm -hmm. And so with, uh, the, I, with this, this kind of genre of after shows becoming so uh, kind of all over the place, I mean, they're just ex exploding over the past like, three or five, you know, three to five years, we thought we'd come up with, we'd borrow from that and come up with an after show for a show that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And so the show that doesn't exist is this show that we came up with called The Flare. And uh, because our show is based on this other show, uh, it needed to feel as real and as grounded uh, and uh, as believable as possible. This is something that Fox would have on their air. Mm -hmm. So it was very important for us to assemble this incredible cast for The Flare. And their show stars mm -hmm. Shiri and uh, Tyler and Kevin. Uh, and so if we're going to base our show on something, that's kind of the foundation that the show's kind of built upon. Oh, I have questions about the flair. And about <laughs> great. great. We'll answer them. This is going to become a, an after show for the flair right now. Oh, great. Um, but first, are you a fan or are any of you fans of these after shows? Are there any shows that you're such like nerds for that you actually watch the after shows for? Because I do, maybe. What show do you watch? <laughs> Well, I used to be that way with yeah. Walking Dead, and then I, they lost me for a while, but this last season Did was Did you know that good. Kevin was on The Walking Dead? F Fear the Walking Dead. Fear, 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 Fear the Walking yeah. Dead. Oh, they're going to be in here. It's slightly different. different. Yeah. It's slight departure. Ah, Pre my <laughs> Tyler's all dialed in. Uh, I'm, I'm dialed in on The Walking Dead. Uh, fandom. Are you? They're yeah. going to be here later. What? Uh, yeah, they are. <laughs> all right. Is there a room for me behind this couch just to hang out for a little while? <laughs> if you want to ask some questions, I, I'll write down your questions and I'll ask. For real? I promise yeah. you. I promise. Okay. And well, you, you can ask that. You, you can say, uh, you know, are there any spots opening up? <laughs> um, not that I don't love being your assistant nearly full time, Fred, but uh, yeah, hi. Walking Dead call. <laughs> uh, and or if you want to ask him anything like, uh, why did you kill me? Uh... That's a question we all want to ask. Because fear is going to be here, too. I know. What's that? Fear is going to be here, too. Oh, they are? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. Oh! Just kidding. You can't say that on the news. No. That's going viral. Yes. Yeah. Look at all everybody's laughing. So nobody here is like, nobody here is like, everyone like, so nice. Like, oh, it's just so exciting to be on the show. Yeah, we're here to shake things up. We're here to shake it up. We're so We're breaking the rules. We're making this up as we go along. Yeah. L.A. Times. <laughs> what is that? Were you going to add something? Oh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I, I, you should generate some conversation. I'm not going to. What are you talking you, about? Yeah, ask, ask I'm, just here, I'm just here to watch you guys. No, I mean, I, I, I get amused when I think about shows that maybe could have after shows like Girls. Like oh, sure. Girls had an after show. That mm -hmm. would be a fun after show. Would you have appeared on, on that? Yeah, sure, of course. I loved being on that show. I, I wonder, I think what would be interesting is just asking Lena how she... Like came up with the ideas for the show and made it. She was fantastic. You didn't ask her that when you were working on it. I was really intimidated by her, quite honestly. <coughs> She's what? so creative and so um, I was a little, yeah, I was a little intimidated. Uh, so you were talking about making it up as you went along. I'd imagine when you have guests like Ken Jeong and uh, um, Joel McHale, is there improv going on? Yeah, I think. Well, that's kind of the blend of our show. So we're mixing a few genres. So mm -hmm. we uh, have a, a genuine kind of water cooler, cultural uh, event, drama, the flair. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, a lot of DNA from the after shows, whether it's Talking Dead or um, Watch What Happens Live. Uh, and then we also have a lot of, um, we borrow a lot from late night talk shows where we have uh, guests and who are on to promote their projects or uh, mm -hmm. tell anecdotes about their summer vacations. Uh, and we also do kind of remote comedy pieces where we leave the stage. So we're a bit of a blend of a lot of different genres. So when we have uh, Joel McHale or Ken Jeong, 
uh, Tiffany Haddish with the cast of 90210 on mm -hmm. uh, this week this weekend. Um, those are genuine interviews where they come on and um, it's unscripted and uh, just like a late night talk show interview. And they just have to pretend they've seen the show and they're big fans. You know, everyone plays it a little differently. Some mm -hmm. are big fans and love it. We had a vet Nicole Brown, who obviously is a, is a well-known super fan. Yes. Uh, we had Kevin Smith, you know, who played a, a big super fan. And then there are people who don't quite know it at all. Tiffany Haddish didn't know it and did her own thing. And so, so, but like, but like any, like any of these shows, you know, some people know it, some people don't know it, some people love it, some people kind of heard about it. So when guests come on, we play a little bit with the, their relationship to the flair, and mm -hmm. then it kind of becomes, we, we move on from that, it becomes a, a regular late night interview. I thought from the uh, pilot that there would be more animus between you two, between you and uh, yeah. Kevin. Um, uh, are, can we expect to see more of that in the, in the series? I, mean, I feel like we kind of put it, put, it, put it aside, don't you? You think? <laughs> I, mean, I did. Honestly, my beef is with the Fox Broadcasting Network because Kevin is just a great guy who happened to get a job good for him. You know, I mean, you can't get every job. I auditioned for the show yeah. uh, several times <laughs> and uh, was better and better each time. Uh, and um, they just um, are, uh, they don't, they, they, they decided not to put me on the show. Uh, and that's, so I have a problem with them. The fools. Kevin, if, you know, look at, some, look, at the end of the day, you look to your left, you look to your right, you tip your cap, you say, hey, you know, great, great job, you know, well done. And, and I, I'll do that, you know, all day. Thanks, you know, man. Tip of the cap. Yeah, yeah. But, um, <laughs> but it's Fox that really is um, mm -hmm. just short-sighted um, and uh, <laughs> narrow-minded and, um, you know, really lacks imagination. Oh. <laughs> Although we all love Fox. I just oh, want yeah, to make sure yeah. you know that yeah. we really uh, like Fox. I think we're going to edit that really edit. tightly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> to each his own. You know, that's uh, yeah, tomato, sure, tomato, like, tomato, tomato. We're really uh, happy for the flair to become its own show. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Actually, uh, I was wondering if you guys have thought out the flair, or, or do you just like get a, a, a snippet and you have no idea where it fits in anything? No, we make the whole show. Oh, the whole, the whole thing. Right. Yeah. It's, uh, what, like $10 million an episode or something? I mean, oh, it's huge, number yeah. one show in America. Yeah, <laughs> of course, yeah, you course. can do it. And Google it's that. also based Google. on it's also based on a kind of a well-known series of books by T.J. Whitford called "The Moon Is the Sun at Night." So if you're aware <laughs> of the books themselves, <laughs> kind of, uh, no. then you yeah. kind of know, you know, what's coming, what's right. happening. So for fans of the books, much like you know, uh, if, if people who read you know the Songs of Fire and Ice, you know, you know the characters, you know the structure, and you're really kind of watching the show to see where it might you know diverge from the books, where mm -hmm. it might you know blend two things and make them one. Mm -hmm. um, so you're kind of watching you know, for that. Now, but I don't like Fox. Did I make that clear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this show's really better suited for HBO. Fox casting. Fox. Like. Well, I don't like Fox casting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, um, and they gave me this show as kind of like a consolation prize. Oh, I see. Which I guess is nice. Well, they knew not to not to make Fred Savage angry. Why are you wincing? Is it too much? <laughs> no, no. You keep going down that path. I don't like Fox. <laughs> I don't like Fox casting programming the production people are just up 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 my ass <laughs> <laughs> i love you sharon i love you the entire will be that quote yeah, uh, yeah. <coughs> um like now <laughs> i very much enjoyed seeing your your audition video thank you uh, are we going to get to see yours i mean i d didn't get to see every episode so are, are your audition videos going to go on? I have them, so I'm happy to show them to you. A lot of them got sent back unopened. Oh, know? wow. Um, Fox like doesn't That's accept cool. unsolicited <laughs> casting tapes. Uh, they're real, real teetotalers <laughs> over there. So they sent them back to me. So I, I have them uh, on my phone, probably. I'd love to see them. Oh, yeah, I have them on my phone. Um, In reality, Fred actually taped my audition tape. Oh, uh, he, that was very, very nice yeah, of you. Yeah. He's I just like that be, kind of guy. I like to be there for people. <laughs> yeah. You know, look, look, you know, if every, everyone says, oh, show business, cutthroat, doggy dog, you know, every, everyone's out, you know, uh, for, for, for themselves, uh, all true. But every <laughs> once in a while, you know, someone's like, hey, will you take this audition for me? And you're like, okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, but for him, usually you're like, shoot at knee level or something. No, I mean, I want to look, I, I want, it's kind of, it's kind of <laughs> like, you know, like, um, uh, you play sports, yes. You know, and and so when you're when you're lining up across the you know across the field and you're looking at your opponent, you want them to bring their best. You know, you don't want them to dog it because oh, you want to see what you guys are made of. Yeah. Same thing when I taped Kevin's audition. Yeah. So you, you know, told you were pretty flat on my. On no, I was like, I was like, I want to <laughs> see what you got. Let's see you bring it. Yeah. And hey, Take you got pointers. the part. <laughs> I brought it. Yeah, I brought it. Now, uh, Tyler. Uh, yeah. 
for those who, who haven't seen the show, um, there was, you had a, an unpleasant surprise, I'm afraid, yes. when you came on the show. Absolutely. Could you explain to the people who haven't seen it what that surprise was? Yeah, so for fans of the books, uh, you know that the man with no voice, the character I, I played and um, studied for and understand the arc of as well as anything, uh, the show deviated from the books in the sense that they... Slightly. Slightly. In the sense that instead of giving him several seasons to flesh out his arc, they um, uh, ruthlessly murdered him <laughs> uh, in his first big episode. So <laughs> you, you find out that, you know, uh, Shiri's character and the man with no voice are married, so mm -hmm. they did stay true there. Mm -hmm. So I give them credit for that. Um, but yeah, then I, I, w I was killed off. No one, no one called me beforehand, which was cool. So I, you got to see my reaction live on, yeah. on what just happened. Yeah. Um, and I'm just sort of um, dealing with that, just processing it still. Yeah, so. You were great in that episode. Though. Thank you so Fantastic. much. You were so Thank great. You. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, it's a great show. Really it's wonderful. a great show. You're really great. safe hands. Shiri, I know you said you were a little intimidated by, by uh, Lena Dunham, but yeah. have you had some um, creative input into the flair? Oh. Uh, <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been a very... Like right now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what was I like? It's been... It was very collaborative. Um... Uh, yeah, I got to say what clothes I thought would look nice on me, <laughs> and you know it's very it's very tight tight lip, very um, you know you sign. Um, Help me out here, guys. A NDAs. Of NDAs. NDAs. Yeah. Guys. A lot of NDAs. Thanks so much, can't, you, can't, you can't talk. You can't <laughs> talk. You can't talk too much about it. Um, exactly. Mm -hmm. So when I came to work, I just really, you know, I, I just brought to life what was on the page. Oh, I, I see. You know yeah, what I mean? It was, it was all there. Didn't need anything extra. No, no. I mean, I bring the warmth. Well, what's what? Yeah, what's what she brings. That's I mean, that's why you, that's why you hire uh, a, a Shiri Appleby. Appleby. You don't do that to just to just read the script. You know, you <laughs> infuse it with all the life that. I mean. Thank you. Look at Thank that. you. Which of course puts to shame all those shows that want to hire a Sherry Appleby, but they can't because the flair got Yeah, it. the Sherry Appleby types yes. are very yeah. oh, in yeah. demand right now. Mm -hmm. She turned down three or four shows to do this one. To yeah. do the flair. Yeah. For, that's for truth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that is now, the truth. Kevin, I understand you guys have put that animosity behind you, but do you have the slightest bit of worry when you come on the show with Fred that, that something might go wrong, maybe a, a Klieg light fall from the ceiling or something? No, he's, I think he's actually a nice guy oh. Under, <laughs> underneath all the resentment and pain. Pain. But he chooses to sit behind him every time. I yeah. think he yeah. likes having yeah. him in his sights, I just in case. I know <laughs> if I sit in front of him, there's daggers, and he doesn't pay too much attention to what's going on, so right. I, I prefer to be behind. No need to remind him of, of you know, the fact that I'm doing the show. Oh, can, you, uh, <laughs> can you preview for our audience something that's coming up on the show that uh, maybe they need to look out for? Um... Maybe yeah. set visit. Yes, yes. Oh, well, that's true. I get to visit the set of the Flair. I come oh, to visit the set wow. of Flair, and uh, Shiri gives me a tour. Oh. Uh, that's coming up. That's very exciting. Um, we have some very exciting guests coming up. Um, Joel McHale's on uh, this week. Um, I said an event Nicole Brown, Tiffany Haddish, Eric Stone Street. Uh, so we have some very exciting guests coming up on the show. Um, this Sunday night uh, is uh, an all new What Just Happened. Um, so uh, it's very exciting uh, things in store for you there, uh, and yeah, just more more flair, more fun. Uh, Flairman, yeah, the flair phenomenon. The flair phenomenon. The flair phenomenon. Flair phenomenon. The flair phenomenon is spreading. <laughs> so uh, people are catching it. And, yeah, and catch uh, it. There are creams you can use to reduce the spreading of the flair phenomenon. It is, it is. But we're trying to buy all those up and just <laughs> yeah, we it. wanted to Heard spread. <laughs> we're yeah. looking an for uh, people. An outbreak. Yeah, mm -hmm. there we go. Okay, so you are at Comic Con. I got to ask you a few Comic Con questions. Yes. Um, who here has been to Comic Con before? Yeah. Uh, then or now, what's the craziest thing you've witnessed here? I don't. I, I was just shocked how many people are here. It's like I, I wasn't fully prepared for just how many people are here at the same time. That was that was my main sort of takeaway from. The, and we were in Hall H the first time yeah, I was here, yeah. which is just a. Uh, a crazy scene. Um, yeah. That's Did you see the crowds outside Hall H? Yeah. Yeah. My yeah, God. yeah. And I don't think people even knew the movie that we were promoting, but they were acting as if it was <laughs> literally the biggest thing they'd ever seen you, or heard. Oh of. my! The excitement God. level was like, I really was like, oh, this is the biggest movie of all time. You need to come back with the flair. You need yeah. to mm -hmm. come back yeah. with we the flair. Yeah. We should do that. Absolutely. Oh, that would be I want to do that. Fox we promotion. Do. You're welcome. We're doing a panel today. <laughs> we are doing a panel. Yeah, we're doing a flare panel today. Panel.
That you have to. Yeah, we are. Do it between Fear the Walking Dead and Walking Dead. What oh, a yeah. good idea. <laughs> um, I'm a fan. Anybody else, have you seen anything like crazy here that, that made an impression on you? Well, I got into the elevator this morning. This is my first Comic-Con and uh, just had my water, got in with a lady who was holding a big hippo and a rainbow umbrella and it's 90 degrees out. Uh, and uh, immediately I knew I was underdressed and <laughs> under propped. And she scoffed. She saw my water and it was just like, get out of here, kid. You, you don't know what you're doing. You're All in right. over your head. So there are a lot of cosplayers here. Oh, yeah. Uh, who would you cosplay if you had to cosplay someone or wanted to cosplay someone? Come on. Felicity. I'll just keep saying Felicity. Oh, Felicity? <laughs> you, you mean you get the, the curly hair? The, curly hair. Yeah. the long hair or the short hair? Long. Pre yeah. cut or pre cut? That's, that's the one hair. true Felicity. Felicity. Come on, that's the one true Felicity. Yeah, you know, Any, anybody else? Opinions. Conan, I just same Conan, body. Conan, that'd be cool. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Um, Who would I cosplay? Yeah. Um, Deadpool's grandchild. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yes, <laughs> I would go that for sure. Um, no one, no one for you. Maybe Fred Savage. Ah, oh. uh, there's the that best answer of the back day. Back the best that's answer. right. Take your time. I mean, that's that's. Crowded field. That was a good one. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Last question. It comes from our, our brilliant, uh, brilliant friend Jason. Um, hey, Jason. Which one's Jason? If you could, you guys Jason. Like Jason? If you can, yeah. If you had to compare the bedside manner of, of Peter Falk and Deadpool, mm -hmm. which uh, which was more? Uh, um, Peter Falk. Peter Falk was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I don't even know what you're you gonna say, but it's he was better. Better Peter, than yeah, Deadpool. yeah, way better in every way. Kinder, warmer. Better actor, nicer <laughs> guy, uh, nicer, way nicer to the crew. But um, didn't uh, Deadpool give you some vodka, some aviation gin, aviation gin? Yeah. I mean, he sent some to me later, but that seems like a real empty gesture, don't you think? <laughs> like if that was your, no, I, I think that was like his assistant sent that to me or something. All right. No, Ryan is um, is uh, Canadian. Kind of, yeah, he's as Canadian as you can imagine, yeah. Yeah. and um, I, you know, I think I, Peter Falk all the way. All right. So this I'll give you the aviation gin if, that's, if you're excited about that. He sent me a ton of it. Fred Savage is the nicest you want, you person want, of all you want, you want, time. Are you, in, are you in? You want some of that? Yeah. yeah. Great. I'll give you some of that. He sent me a carton. Okay. Because of it, everybody has to watch the show now because he's, he's brilliant. Oh. He's a wonderful, wonderful human being. Wow. All right. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Guys, thank you so much for coming thank by. You. Thank you. We really appreciate your time. Thank you. Right.